there are a lot of different types of seizure attacks, non-epileptic seizure attacks, among the community of PNES, NEAD, NES. There is one common experience that I have heard in overwhelming um, comments and videos, um, personal stories, which is our experience when we go into hospitals or um, our experience with EMS um, staff. And it's an unfortunate experience. It's one that leaves us in a worse condition than when we went in for help. Um, I have been enlightened <laughs> and I am really excited to share what I've learned. This experience that we that we have, the shared experience now makes sense um, thanks to a letter to the editor in this uh, neurology publication that I read which led me to research about um, this disorder that affects every one out of two medical students and young doctors and that's called neurophobia. It's very well documented. It is global. It is not just in the United States. Um, and it is a real problem. It's The problem is obviously within the name itself. There is a phobia of neurological uh, disorders. A lot of times the way it's explained is that medical students see neurology as um, almost mystical and elusive. It doesn't make sense and so it gets rejected and they just try to get through the courses and um, of course just like anybody going through anything begrudgingly you're not going to get a lot and for sure you're not going to have that heart of compassion or that curiosity that's going to lead to the kind of care that that um, patients need. The real problem within the uh, neurophobia is what it creates and as it says in the article and I'll leave a link at the bottom is that the problem with neurophobia is the cynicism and nihilism that it produces and I wasn't sure about nihilism because there's a couple different definitions for it and according to the American Heritage Medical Journal it is I'm sorry dictionary it is an extreme form of skepticism right there it was like <laughs> it made so much sense everything made sense our experiences are based off of their phobia anytime that we encounter things that we don't understand and this is again this is a global human condition when we don't understand something a typical response is fear and nobody wants to be as vulnerable as to show other people um, there's their surroundings that they're afraid so frequently fear is masked as rejection it's just that's human nature and it's not limited and it's not just about the medical profession this actually isn't a slam I'm not slamming the medical profession I'm humanizing them and I am validating our experiences because what we're experiencing is very it feels very personal because it is happening to it's happening to us personally but what I came to understand and under I mean it is a beautiful thing that this isn't actually about us it is not a personal attack it is a limitation of them and for some reason that brought my defensiveness down a little bit and I was able to reframe things a little bit it put me in more of an action mode because I understand phobias and if we don't address our phobias if we don't demystify what it is that we're afraid of we're never going to get rid of it it's going to become part of our core beliefs and everything that we do everything that we say and think is going to based be based off of our core beliefs um, and create cognitive dissonance when we come and when we encounter things that don't match up with our core beliefs. This gives us an opportunity if we can look at it this way. 
gives us an opportunity to see that this isn't a personal attack against us. There is a true disconnect. There is a, an immense gap that needs to be bridged. And one way we can do it um, is by sharing our experience in a non-confrontational way without expectation. We can plant seeds that will hopefully help them to see things in a new light will help them from being defensive. Because remember, I don't know what your experiences in, are in hospitals, but I've seen a lot of aggression acted on uh, the medical profession, and it does create a jaded atmosphere. And that's, again, just human nature. It's self-preservation. It's conflict avoidance, which again is part of psychology. What we can do is instead of looking for validation for the start, we can flip the script and validate them, bring their guard down a little bit. And I can only say this because I've experienced the effects of it.